FHO, let's ride. And we, spend, and we spend plenty of money on that fad, too. TV at the TV. TV at the TV at the TV. <laughs> so once Harley figured out that, hey, well, you know, we won't give them a TV feature because the TV thing is only really used when you pull up on somewhere. And then you just flipping the screen out to play a couple of videos or stuff like that. But the navigation piece is really what you need. It's really what you need as far as the screen-wise. And... You know, at one point in time, when that when I heard that they was coming out with these new radios and how you couldn't do this and you couldn't do that, man, it was just getting my hands on one. Okay. Putting it together and seeing what it can do. Yeah, I can update it. Yeah, I can do all of that stuff to it. Now, when you mean update it, what is, what is the purpose of an update? It's a software package that's in the radio. Yeah. Um... um then you set up, and then what you you can just uh, navigation system information software eighteen you won you won back so it's eighteen point four now one point eighteen point four but what that does is this is a computer your phone does a software update this radio does a software update. For whatever the reason is, people want to change that. I don't know, but I'm sure in a you know a year or so when some of the companies shout out the hardware use that product all the time, um, they're gonna come up with a kit to do it. Me personally, I wouldn't change it because I I love these these bikes and these radios that's in these new bikes because you can do so much with them, meaning. Where we was taking, having to change head units. All that, 13 all that, $1,400, $800. For radios, and then now. Then I had to add the navigation package to it. Then I had to add the antenna. Then I had to add, oh my goodness. And with this one, I mean, satellite radio built in, got the USB plug that's in it. I mean, what more you want outside the CD? And who's still listening to CDs anymore when you can put a flash drive? Shout out to my dad who still got them uh, cassette players. Oh, yeah. But you can, you can, you Dad, can. you still got cassette player there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you can, you can play, do so much with these, with this radio and, and this. One thing I'm learning too, and I haven't done it yet, but I I was did some research on it, is that you can actually take the the one USB port and make it a multi port. Chris, is that true? Yeah. What you can do is put a docking station in. Uh huh. Um, Kenwood was the first one to really come up with that technology where you could take a, a just a single just, USB, a single USB, and put a USB hub. Okay. And what that hub allows you to do. I don't know if this one will go up to three devices, but I know it'll handle two devices. This radio is smart enough to di di differentiate your phone and a USB. And a uh, USB. Uh -huh. So, or iPod, or however you're choosing to play. And one thing I did do some research on, if you're asking, because uh, this radio is only designed to handle 16 gigs of anything. If you put an iPod that's 64 gigs or 32 gigs, it's going to... It's going to be a little bit uh, shaky, flaky, and doing whatever because it's only designed to handle 16 gigs. And let me tell you something. 16 gigs on a motorcycle is overkill. Yeah. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? If you need more than 16, you ain't riding, and I'm telling you this, you ain't riding nowhere in the world where you need more than 16 gigs. Or you, stream Pandora or... Uh, from your phone. Or, yeah. or any of those other music sources, and then just play your music through that. I mean, they're, it's set up for you to play and listen to whatever it is that you like to listen to. So, I mean, but... As a sound installer, you've been installing from 05s, 01s up to now. Does, does this bike have any downfalls on the music side of it? Um, no. No? Man, to me, it's an upgrade. Yeah. Because... You, of course, I mean, you losing that function of selling a radio 
or, or doing something like that, but man, the the overall quality of whoever designed this radio for Harley, they thought about it. Yeah. And the EQ feature, the, the settings feature, and all of that stuff. Now wait, they do they they rob your ass when they tell you that they put six and a half in here. It's not a six and a half, it's just a damn oversized five and a quarter. Speaker with a, you see, you're looking in the trash. That's, that's, that's fucked up. Throw that shit. Yours went right in the trash. Hey, he looking for the replacement. I'm looking for it so I can show you. <laughs> hey, that's messed up, man. Thanks, Daddy. Cool boy. Yeah, oh, you probably. You, go. you got one? Yeah. Okay, so they say it's a six and a half, but it's not a six and a half. I'm going to show you the back of the speaker, right? Okay. A six and a half is the whole thing. Is the whole thing. If you look at this speaker that's from really here a, to that's that's an inch. That's two. You give it about two inches. This is that same. Is this not a PG rated video? No, this ain't a PG rated. This is the same weak ass five and a quarter that they've been putting in these bikes, and they telling you, oh, we upgraded to a six and a half. In, in my in my in my homeboy and my club brother's voice, man, if you don't knock that shit off, these are five and a quarter. That's where they go at every time I put them in a box. I don't even hold up to them. Things, so, but man, even when you get one, a new bike, and you know they they sound good though. You know, cause the way on, on the Hero truck, I mean, on Savages, uh, or the Mini Cooper. You stupid, hey man! Shout it's out, time shout time. out, shout out to Mr. Corleone yeah. <laughs> and the Mini Cooper. Now playing his music on that trike and the way that they set that tour pack up with that, with the the the, the it's not a sub, but the way that they made that what, yeah that whatever that, that is. pocket thing in the back, it sound good. Yeah, but just stock stuff. But if he was just to make a small change to it, because I think the trikes come with an amp too, so that's the difference too. But if you um, if you uh put that um, I mean overall, I mean yeah. Infinity Capital, you know, I'm still Infinity JBL all day. Yeah. So, um, so let me ask you this, okay? I just got my bike, Chris. I don't want to do a lot of me. I just want to be able to, to uh, upgrade. And a lot of people got that misconception that I want to be able to hear my bike when I'm doing 85 with my pipes going and blowing. I don't care what system you got. Let me tell you something. I done had them all, been there, done them all. You're not going to be able to do it. You can hear of your music. You can hear of it. You might can catch the harmony or the, or the, or the hook. But you ain't going to be able to hear your music doing no 85, 90. And, you know, you, you really kill yourself with no purpose to have your system screaming for no reason. Do you agree? So, here's what technology is allowing us to do. On the new Harleys, this port right here mm -hmm. allows you to hear your music in your help. Most guys that get yonder, go across, go north, and go south, don't even listen to their music on the bike. So at all. You put it in your helmet, you playing your music through your helmet, you get a phone call, answer the phone, you talking on what the up, phone. What up, man? It's your I boy, Big Cell, F-H-O-H-N-I-C, man. Oh, Appreciate you for stopping by to watch me and Chris Dallas chop it up about the new bike, the 2015 radios. Stay tuned for part three, the final, as we learn you all something. It's your boy, Big Cell, F-H-O-H-N-I-C.